new students assalamu alaikum uh, today the topic of my lecture is newton's second law of motion from the chapter number 3 dynamics topic number is 3.2.2 as you see which is on the page number 65 as you see the statement over the board say when a force applied on the body it produces an acceleration in the body this acceleration is directly proportional to the magnitude of the force and inversely proportional to the mass of the body from this statement we have to find out this relation which is f is equal to for f stands for force n stands for mass and a stands for acceleration to justify my first a uh, line i would like to take the example of a ball the ball is in the state of rest until unless i'm not applying any force on it if i apply a force for example i'm kicking a ball the the ball start moving moving mean uh, velocity changing that means acceleration acceleration is producing so the first line of my statement justify that we apply a force the acceleration it produces an acceleration in the body or an object for the second line the acceleration you see on the board that is this acceleration is directly proportional to the magnitude of the force which i can justify with the example of if i am taking a mass in this example as a constant value for example i am taking a stone stone of 1 kg stone two stones of 1 kg 1 kg both the mass of the stone is the same here i am taking force in the form of man and here i am taking force in the form of kid the man is throwing the stone and it will fall it will drop here somewhere and the kid will throw the stone and it will go somewhere here as you see both the mass of the object is the same it was constant but the difference was in the force the man force was greater you see it produces different velocity which produces greater acceleration greater acceleration here the force was less so the less acceleration is produced in the velocity it um, here velocity is also produced but the acceleration is smaller compared to the force so that shows that if the force uh, it, for the, this acceleration is directly proportional to the magnitude of force here in the first statement we have taken force greater and acceleration was also greater here the force was minimum so the acceleration produced was also minimum means both the quantity simultaneously uh, um, simultaneously um, uh, increasing or decreasing that means they shows the direct relation which i can write it with the equation directly this sign is the sign of proportionality a stand for acceleration directly proportional to magnitude of a force this example justify our uh, for this this second statement of the uh, second line of the statement now this acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of the body how for that i can take the same example but in first example i have taken mass as a constant now here i am taking force is a constant quantity force is constant but the mass is going to be different here if one is of 4 kg stone or a brick i can say i have taken the brick which is of 4 kg and here i am taking a stone which is of 1 kg but the force here in this example is the constant one i am taking both man man what we will see by making the force as a constant value mass are different if we throw this brick over here it will fall 
it will drop here somewhere and if the man drops this one uh, one kg stone it will drop somewhere here you see here the forces are the same but the mass was different so if here the mass was great mass was greater so acceleration produces was less here the mass was less uh, less and acceleration was greater which show if the one quantity increasing the other quantity is decreasing this relation shows they are inversely proportional to each other from this example i can develop an equation which is a proportionality inversely proportional to the mass of an object uh, mass of the body now both acceleration is equal to force and inversely proportional to the mass i can combine them for example i call this equation equation number 1 equation number 2 by combining i'll get f over n which i call equation number 3 Now, for changing the proportionality sign into equality, I have to put some constant. So, in this equation, in Newton equation, we take a constant as a k, where we call proportionality is equal to k. If I put instead of proportionality equality k, f over n. For that, I have to find out what is the value of k. For finding the value of k, I will rearrange this this equation, and this equation will become like if m is multiplying and dividing here, so we will multiply m k. F is multiplying here, it will come down. It will get yeah divided by f on the both side. We get the equation k is equal to m a over f. from the newton definition we know one if one newton force is applied on a mass of 1 kg it produces acceleration of 1 meter per second square so if you see newton is the unit of force kg is the unit of mass and meter per second is the unit of acceleration so we can put the value in it k is equal to 1 for the mass Into one for the acceleration and one for the force. So one one will cut down. You will you will get the value of k, which is equal to uh, one. Now putting the value into this equation, one f over m, we get a is equal to f over m. Now by rearranging or multiplying uh, or multiplying m on the both side, we get f is equal to m a. which is newton second law newton second law tells us when the larger the mass less will be the acceleration produced when we apply a um, force on the larger mass the acceleration will be less if we apply a force on the smaller mass the acceleration will be greater thank you very much